you can respawn on vehicles, AI, or a player using a simple code. We're going to start off by placing a player. We're going to go to NATO Pacific and to men. Then we're going to place down a rifleman. This is going to be our player. Place down a squad leader and we're going to place him out in the field. We're going to give him an auto rifleman and group him to the squad leader and then we're going to give him a soldier. Alright, we're going to go to the 2D map. We're going to give this guy a code, variable name box. We're going to name the squad leader SL, short for squad leader. Then in his INIT box, we're going to type the following. Left bracket, west, comma, SL, SL is his variable name, right bracket, space, call, space, BIS, underscore, FNC, underscore, add, respawn, position, and then semicolon. We're going to look at this code here. The west is basically the faction or the side that your squad leader or whomever you're going to use this code on is on. This is the name and then this is the function that you're going to use. So once you have this, we're basically just going to copy this. And then hit OK. Place a vehicle. So we're going to close this. I'm going to go to cars. I'm going to place down a prowler. And we're going to place this guy right here. And we're going to double click him. And we're going to give him a variable name. And his name is going to be prowl. P-R-O-W. Prowl. Initialization box, all you're going to do is you're going to press Control V, which will paste the code that we copied from the squad leader. And then all you need to do here is just change his name. So Prow was what we named him. And then just hit OK. Next, we're going to go to planes. We're going to place down a black fish with infantry that can carry infantry. And we're going to place them right here. And we're going to just face him in this direction. We're going to give him a name. And we're just going to call him BF. And then his INIT box, Control V. And I'm going to change his name to BF. We're going to place a boat. We're going to place down a mini, a speed boat. Place him in the water. And we're going to edit him. And we're going to give him a variable name. So we're just going to name him BT. And then in his INIT box, Control V, just paste the code. And then we're just going to put BT and hit OK. We're going to go to empty. And then we're going to type in flag. And we're going to scroll to the bottom. And we're just going to put a flagpole. We're going to edit the flagpole, and we're just going to name this pole. And we're going to paste the code, control V, and we're going to change the name, and put it, put pole there, and then hit OK. Now that we have our assets placed, we're going to go to attributes at the top, and then to multiplayer. And under the respawn section, we're going to go to respawn on custom position select respawn position so make sure you check that under the rule sets and then we're gonna set the delay for two seconds turn off the scoreboard and that's all we need to do for that we're gonna play this in multiplayer in order to respawn so when the mission starts as you can see we have various assets that we could respawn on. So we have a vehicle that's roaming around like a mobile respawn that you could use. We have a boat that could act like a mobile respawn. You could respawn on AI and or players. And then you have a blackfish that you could respawn on. Right now we're going to respawn on the flagpole. We're going to respawn on the squad leader.
choose the vehicle. Now, when you choose a vehicle that's moving or a vehicle that's, you know, uh, still, you're going to spawn into the next available seat. There's the blackfish over there. Next, we're going to respawn into the, the boat. 